That's right. <laughs> this is uh, 2nd Ezra 9 and 12. The same must know it after death by pain. That's it. Yep. Oh. That's how you're going to learn the Lord's will. Not to death by pain. Go back to Isaiah 66. I want you to finish up on that. Then we're going to get the first. You had a pre sale. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just leave where you left off. Keep going. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination, and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. So, basically he's saying all you abominable, wicked people are going to be consumed by that fire that he's going to bring. You know, the, all that love he's going to bring. You're going to be consumed. You're going you're gonna to be engulfed in his love. When he comes back, you know, you did indulge in all the things he said not to indulge in. The Lord didn't say not to do all these things just for you to do them. <laughs> they say, oh, it's okay. He loved me. <laughs> he really ain't that serious. You know? He's smoking bigger than the You think he playing? What he say? What did what, 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 uh, Big Brown tell Smoke? You know? <laughs> and see, we like we like Craig telling you smokers. <laughs> you think he playing about his bones? You think he right, playing God. about his judgment? All right. You know? Did you see Sodom and Gomorrah? <laughs> huh? Tell me one man who played like that. <laughs> Told, told, told a uh, lot. Uh, well, uh, Seth, what's her name? Was it Seth? What's his wife's name? Sarah? Lot. Lot's Lot. wife. Whatever her name uh, was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sarah. Sarah. She, all she did was look back. About the good time. All she, she did was look eyes. back, man. You know? And that's how you know that we, like, it's nothing that we can do to cleanse ourselves. Because even we think about it, the father that we used to do in the world. Like, you don't supposed to be thinking about that shit, man. You still be like, man, I remember when I used to do that, you know? Because that's temptation. God. The Lord said, don't say, he said, I'm not to be tempted, man. She looking back. Oh, right, you, you want to look back? All right, stay there. Stay there. <laughs> Verse 18. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. Ooh. Yep. Everybody gonna see the Lord's glory. <laughs> all right? Come. But who's really gonna receive the Lord's glory are the righteous, come. the saints, the Israelites, come. the elected those first and foremost. Come. All right, let's go to uh let's go with what you had. What you had? Malachi 4. This is Malachi 4 and 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. It's Elijah the prophet, right? Who was Elijah the prophet in the New Testament? John the Baptist. The Lord said this out his own mouth, right? The spirit of Elijah the prophet came back as John the Baptist. The spirit of Elijah the prophet and John the Baptist came back again, all right? For truth's sake, because we commanded to do this. Why now? First Peter four and seventeen. That's a good question. This is First Peter four and seventeen. For the time has come that the judgment must begin at the house of your house. Hey, just read it, my baby. We ain't gonna get the Lord's name to everybody. Hey, First Peter four and seventeen, because the time is now. You have a clue. Everybody who got one, load it up. He said, you know, why are we doing this right now? <laughs> when, when, when should we do it? What you mean? I mean, what do you mean, like, be more specific? <laughs> oh, oh, barbecue festival. No, I mean, like, the festival is... Oh yeah. Oh, you talking about all the? You talking about all the the, the, the events that's going on? Like, why are we doing this now? And there's so much eventful, many eventful things 
that we could be doing. Like, what about the events going on now? Oh. Oh, okay. Go ahead. The John 94. I must woke the wokes of him that sent me. Why, it is day, the night coming when no man can woke. Right, so all this body that's going on, get uh, Ecclesiastes 10. All this eventful things that we could be indulging in, all that's going to come to an end. It is all vanity. So the reason that we're doing what we're doing because we want true peace and happiness. We want to be able to uh, live forever with peace and happiness. See, the Lord is saying the Lord, all the works that is in this place are going to be burnt up. Everything. The Grizzly Stadium, whatever. Whatever it is that you out here to indulge in, it's, it, the Lord is going to put an end to it. That's his, that's his purpose. His purpose is to destroy this kingdom and set up the kingdom of righteousness. That's right. That's right. Contrary to the messages that you probably been giving uh, Baptist churches, Methodist churches, Roman Catholic churches. Well, then why are you not out here doing this now? Oh, 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 in any form or fashion that your message could be anywhere you could be to ours because you you are one of those that's going to be burnt up go ahead who got something it's plenty of us uh, okay it's chapter 18 verse 22 Thou shalt not love with mankind as with womankind is abomination. What's an abomination? You know what abomination means? You know how? Contrary to that of God's word. It means a disgusting act of wickedness. That's what you are. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get uh, this Jude 1 and 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them. In like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So it said those, those who indulge in sodomy are going to suffer the vengeance of eternal fire. You know about the origin of homosexuality? You know, they teach you homosexuality in the school system. Now they're going to teach you the origin of the LGBT. They didn't, but you were a little old and you didn't get to go through that course. But let us give you a crash course. <laughs> okay? Uh, homosexuality, the first homosexual was Ham. Right? He was looking at his father's nakedness and making the mockery of it. Okay? Then there was a city known as Sodom and Gomorrah, and it was cities around about it that the Lord destroyed because they was committing all the abominable vow sex acts that you could commit in the earth. And you know what he did? He set fire to him. Yeah. This is Jude 1 and 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. I got another one to look at. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Romans 1. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I want to go to chapter. Chapter. Romans. Book of Romans. Post chapter. 1. I'm going to start at 23. Romans 1 and 23. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, into birds, and off-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections for even their woman they changed the nature, used it that witness against nature. And likewise also the man 
leaving the natural use of the woman. Hey, the natural use of the woman is to be penetrated by a rod. Okay? By by what the Lord uh, gave man to be fruitful and multiply with. Homosexuals can't be fruitful and multiply, so there's no purpose for you. Oh, baby, I'm going to tell you right now, there are plenty of homosexuals. It says, and likewise also the man leaving the natural use of the woman. But in the lust one toward another, what is the man with man, woman, walking that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense of the devil which was meant. Why is there no women behind Hey, why you getting emotional, man? Why you care, why you care what we think? Hey, all these events, all these events out here, why don't you just go and do in some events and go find a book for you? Okay, well, go find another one. <laughs> Cause the only thing, only thing that this nah, message man. has for your ass is fight. That's it, bro. That's right. I mean, I, I, I don't put it like this. Any, 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 any logical thinking homosexual would not stand up for this. If I were to reject in my life, you stand behind this man with us, man. It ain't set up for you. This ain't, this ain't something that we been, we been placed to. We been placed to by a high power. Okay. Uh, read it. This is First Corinthians six and nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of your house? Stop using the name. All right, all right. Learn to read the Learn to read the Learn to read This is First Corinthians six and nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous should not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. That's you, you effeminate. Go ahead. Nor abusers of themselves. That's, that's you. That's, that's you. You just, spoke, you just spoke about, hold on. We, we, gonna, we, gonna, we answer your question. You said, what's the, what's, the pur what's the purpose of a woman other than to be a human fucking being? Read it. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Abusers of themselves with mankind. That's you. you. You abusing yourself. All right? Because that's how all type of mental diseases come into the earth. When you when you when you when you when you run up in a man, all right, when you run up in his in his butthole and do all of that, that's an exit. That's an exit. That's an exit. That's an exit. However you do it. However you do it, you know, you're not gonna deter us any kind of way with your breathiness. We know what we know what's going on. Alright? And it's it is worse it's worse going on than what whatever you doing. You know? Because even even the, our people uh are doing this. So they gonna get it worse. And then you got bestiality going on. That's right. Okay? It ain't no it ain't no worse than what you're doing. Right. Oh uh, right. I guess that's the question about that's a big deal. Like a dog can't consent to be fucking ass, but a human can. So let's talk talk about this. Man, won't you get out of here? I got a, I got a precept yeah, about Get Romans, get Romans one. Get Romans, 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 get Romans. Romans one. Come on here, Romans one. Tell me Romans one. God damn. It's Romans one. 26. For this cause God gave them up unto vile infections, for even the woman they changed the natural use into their witches against nature. Yeah, so you're going against nature. And all this and when you go and when you go against nature, it means you're going against the laws of the most high. So when uh, when somebody like takes a horse and makes it a carriage, what do you think about that? That's taking nature. I got, I got a precept out. Go ahead, Al. Hey, we just really want to hear precept. Come. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Right, that's you. And you are, you are, you are, you are most likely an Edomite. I'm an Edomite. Edomite. Edo. So, Might. I'm I'm yeah, we know. <laughs> Go ahead, uh. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, 
unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. This is Leviticus. This is Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with a mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. If a man lie with a man like he lied with woman, womankind, both of them have committed an abomination. What's going what's to happen to him? An abomination. What's gonna happen to them? And they Freedom shall surely and be put to death. death. They shall surely be, be put, put to, to death. 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 And their blood shall be upon them. Blood will be upon us. This is what? 15 and 13. The Lord hated all abominations. That's right. The Lord hated all abominations. That's right. And they that feel God love it not. And they that feel the most high love it not. So he hate abominations and we hate you too. I love you. So I love you. The best thing you could have done is what you just now did. And that's leave. And this is Luke 